Welcome back to the garage here at Basin Motorsports. I'm Kanan, and have you ever entered a raffle? Well, I know I have. I've bought raffle tickets for many things along the way, but they've always been legal raffles. Lately, I've noticed a trend of people trying to sell high dollar items and skirt the authorities by calling them waffles. I know you've seen it also. Well, you have to ask the question is, should you sell or raffle or waffle your personal car or your personal belongings. The major reason people are trying their hand at doing illegal raffles is that finding the right buyer for an expensive item may take a lot of time and a lot of answering questions of people saying, is this available, trying to negotiate, etc. It's a lot easier to find somebody that's willing to chip in 50 or 100 bucks towards a raffle than trying to find somebody to buy a $15,000 car. So the problem with running a raffle on a personal level is that it's considered gambling. And most states say that is a no, no, you cannot do that. It's illegal. So that's where they come in with the waffles to try and skirt the authorities. But is there a better option of doing that? Well, there are some options out there to do raffles legally that organize them for you for a small fee. The first company I will mention is that one I found online called Raffall. Now looking through their site, the cost to organize a raffle on your behalf is a little vague. I did find that the, they will organize the raffle based on what is available, the number of tickets, and the price that you want to do everything for. You can set that yourself. Their blog also mentions that they sell advertising to help offset the costs and they also allow advertising via Facebook and Google. So I assume that you can advertise your raffle, a legal raffle, via social media without too many problems. Now the next one I was able to find is one called Raffle Creator. They will allow you again to set a lot of the criteria for it, what you're going to sell, how many tickets, do you want paper or only digital sales, and will allow you to advertise it in the manner you're interested in. Now beyond their package that they charge for, they also have the ability to charge an online fee for handling any credit card purchases. And they recommend something called Stripe, which charges 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So just keep that in mind if you wanna go that route of what they charge additional to their organization fee. Now beyond these two different raffling sites, there wasn't much else available. Yes, you can do online auctions such as Bring a Trailer, eBay Motors, any of those that you would typically list things on. eBay offers an auction for a vehicle at a low price of $55 for their beginning package, and Bring a Trailer offers theirs at $99, but they are pretty, pretty tight on what they will allow on their site. So hopefully that'll give you some idea next time you see somebody that says they're listing a waffle for sale. It's probably not a waffle maker, it's more like a high expensive item that they're trying to skirt the authorities on an illegal raffle. So if you want to do yours, well, there's two options for you. Otherwise, be sure to list that waffle iron with the correct features. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.